Okay, so to start off, I am going to make my card base, and I'm going to take this uh, 12 by 12 piece of sweet leaf, and I'm going to figure out which way I want to score it and fold it. So if you haven't seen my other video, I'll just show you real quickly what I do is I take the piece of paper and I fold it into each itself and whatever side resists. So this side's resisting me, this side's giving me cooperation. <laughs> it's, it's coming together easily. So that tells me that my card needs to be folded this way. So I'm going to be cutting it this way. So I'll take my paper trimmer and I'm going to put it in here and I want my card to be four and a quarter so I'm going to line it up at four and a quarter here and it's going to be four and a quarter by eleven which will give me a four and a quarter by five and a half card when I fold it in half so I'm going to go down to the eleven and then I'm going to just take it right here Excuse me. Open this up. Put this at 11. And that gives me my card base. I'm going to fold it in half. Use my bone folder to give it a nice crease so that it'll stay nice and closed. That gives me my card base. Okay, so now what, I'm, what I've done is with the Cricut Craft Room, I went in and I figured out what I wanted to, um, what shapes I wanted. And so the shape that I used was this cloud, and you'll see it when I pop it out. You can kind of see it right there. Um, and that's going to be used for the sentiment on the white piece, and that's going to get mounted on this piece. And, and this paper is actually from the Scar Skylark um, uh, paper pack. And I just I love this blue. It's, it's a lagoon. And so anyway, what I did is I cut out first with the same trimmer my card panel here, which is a quarter of an inch shorter or smaller than the card base so this is cut at four by five and a quarter and then I put my paper down and I put a piece of white cardstock here on the Cricut craft room I put my space my my shapes where I wanted them I made this one is two and a half by it's two and a half across by 1.75 and then what I did is I, I copied that and then I just made this bigger so that it would be a good mat and that came to 2.889 by 2.014 you could probably just put in 2.9 and 2.0 and it would still work as a good mat for that one but anyway I put them um, in the screen where I wanted them according to where my paper was laid out ran it through the Cricut and and then cut out my shapes so that gives me my two shapes here and as you can see that's going to provide a nice little mat I'm going to show you a technique of embossing and watercoloring and when I do my watercolors I use this uh, it's a fluid it's hot pressed finish watercolor paper I like this because it's nice and smooth and so when you stamp onto it um, your image comes out really nice and crisp as opposed to some of the other watercolor paper that's out there that is cold pressed that tends to be rougher so this is what I like to use so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this Paisley Perfect Pair uh, uh, stamp set and I'm going to be using this image right here put it on my block okay now what I'm going to use is the Versamark because I want to do the embossed and then I have some white embossing powder that I'll be using since I'm going to be stamping off the edge 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay down another piece of, of scrap paper here. There we go. So that I don't get uh, any of the Versamark onto this little styrofoam thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and let's get some powder on here so that we don't have anything sticking where it shouldn't be. So I'm just going to randomly stamp this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the white embossing powder on here and that'll help me see where I've got the uh, image stamped so far. just going to stamp one more right there and maybe a tail at the other end. You can kind of see now where the embossing powder is. And being very careful not to touch and disturb what we've already done. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun, my heat tool. Okay, so I have that all embossed, and so next I'm going to go ahead and get this wet and get my inks, and I'm going to be using Sweet Leaf and Lagoon. So what I'm going to do with the inks is I'm going to go ahead and press these so I get a lot of ink on the inside cover of there. So there we go. Let's do a little bit more. If I had re-inkers, I would just drop a few drops of re-inker in there and use that. But I don't have that, so that's okay. So what I've got here is just a bottle with water, and it's a spray bottle. So I'm going to spray the paper, because we want to get it nice and wet so that um, the ink will move around. And I'll probably be spraying it um, off and on while I'm doing this entire process. So we're going to go ahead and just lay down the color. And there's no rhyme or reason how you do that. You just throw it on there around the image that's been stamped. And what I'm going to do this time is on the outside I'm going to use this lagoon. And then for the inside of the image, then I'm going to go ahead and put the sweet leaf ink on there. And just put it on there, lay it on there. And you can see that where I embossed with the clear embossing powder, it resists the color. So that's how we're going to do this technique. And we can always add some more. I'm just start with that. I'm going to clean my brush off. Go to the sweet leaf now. And then I'm going to color the inside of our paisley image with the sweet leaf. And just really work it in there.
Okay, so now I have um, the watercoloring done. I'm going to go ahead and dry this because it's pretty wet. I saturated it pretty good with the water. So go ahead and dry this. It'll do a little warping, but that's okay because we're going to mount it. And I'll dry it on the front and back to try to minimize the warping. It's not completely dry, but I'm going to go ahead and set it to the side and let that finish drying while I work on the other elements of this card. So for the sentiment, I'm using this stamp set, which came with the, the Artiste collection, which is also what I use to cut out my, my shapes. And uh, this is the birthday collection, and I'm using the sentiment right here that says, Hope your birthday's as sweet as you are, since I am working on a birthday card. And so here I've got that, and let me find my stamp. For the cinnamon, I'm going to be using Desert Sand because that is one of the complementary colors to the Skylark paper pack. So go ahead and ink up my stamp. Twist, twist, tap, tap, twist, twist, tap, tap. And go ahead and line that up. There we go. And as I mentioned before, we've already cut out that image and we're going to layer that on there. And I think just to give this more dimension, I am going to go ahead and use 3D foam tape. There we go. right there. Okay, this is feeling pretty dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take some baker's twine and right here we have some lagoon and I'm going to wrap that around this panel. Oh, I do need to cut this to the correct size. which since this I cut at a quarter inch smaller than this will be <clears throat> a half inch smaller than the card base. So that's going to make this five and a half. And three and three quarters. Now we can wrap it with, with this. And what I want is I want it to wrap around three times and then I'm going to tie a little bow. So one, two, and three. Then I'll tie a little bow. Okay, I like that right there. I'm going to use two pieces of scotch tape just to secure the twine where I want it so it doesn't move around and doesn't makes it easier also to attach that to the card uh, panel. Now because this curls a little bit, I am going to use some uh, Tombow glue to attach this because it's a little stronger and I can trust it better than I can the tape adhesive. So I'm going to pop that on there, making sure that we have it even on all sides. Okay, so that will dry nicely. Now I'm going to attach this and I'm going to attach this again with the 3D tape. Okay. I'm going to attach this right in the center. There we go. And now I'm going to attach this to the card ba base, and we are done.
Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did the inside of the card. I cut another piece from the B&T papers from the Skylark, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter, and then I cut a piece of white paper, and this is cut at three and a half, at three and a half by four and three quarters. I'm simply going to attach the white piece onto the pattern paper and then I am going to stamp the paisley but I'm going to stamp it off. I'm not going to stamp it sol uh, first generation. It will go second generation so that it's nice and light. I'll just do it right here. And that's the inside, and I'll go ahead and attach that to the card and call it a day. There we go. So there's my inside of my card. I think one last touch that I'll do with this is go ahead and with the pair, well, that's actually with the um, sweet leaf marker, I'm going to go ahead and color this in right here. And there we have it. Here's the card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for stopping by and please visit again. I appreciate reading all of your comments. Happy paper crafting.